Hello everybody, welcome again to This Game Wears Porofita Zoo Build. We are looking today at the River Delta that we started work on a few, a couple of videos ago. We started with the koalas who have a couple of the islands on the delta and today we're working on the water area of this space. So our water area is going to be taken up with saltwater crocodiles. We've got another couple of spaces on the delta that are going to house other animals, other species. Uh, but as I say, today saltwater crocodiles. Now we started the build with the path. The path is quite large, quite wide. Um, it's a platform that reaches out over the water and I wanted the platform to follow the contours of the river. So instead of it being a straight line on that platform, I've, I've arced it ever so slightly to, to try and follow the riverbank. And it's slightly raised as well so that you can so that it can actually jut out over the water and you can you can get a nice close up view of the crocodiles now crocodiles as far as i have heard uh, generally zoos don't keep saltwater crocodiles one one reason is because uh, they are fairly abundant actually in the wild they're not they're of least concern um, in terms of conservation status. Uh, the other reason though that I've seen bandied around is that they need just they just need so much space, so much water space in particular. Now that seems contradictory to situations that I have seen saltwater crocodiles kept in. Um, uh, I won't name the zoos but um, certain some zoos around the world they they do keep saltwater crocodiles and the enclosures seem from what I've heard recently, uh, they seem quite small. Um, now that's not something that I wanted to recreate in Porofita Zoo. Porofita is what I would do it given infinite resources and infinite space, uh, or as close to infinite space. Um, so I've given them a great reach, a, a very vast space um, in the zoo and it's on this river delta it's got a lot of water it's also got these three island spaces and one of them is semi-submerged one of them is um fully out of the water and then the other one sort of straddles the uh, straddles between the two situations uh underwater and and completely out of the water um i think that should hopefully give us some nice views of the crocodiles when they're when they're bathing whether that be in the sun or the water um, we've also, as I say, we've got this platform that juts out over the over the water. Now, I, I think realistically, this is probably not a, <laughs> all that safe, given how powerful cro saltwater water crocodiles can be, and how they can actually they can push themselves out of the water just by flapping their tails, moving their tails from side to side with such strength, actually, that it propels them out of the water. So, our platform probably wouldn't be ideal for you to be standing on next to some next to a set of saltwater crocodiles however it also gives you that it, it would give you if you were able to, to do it this way it would give you an excellent view out over the over the delta and of our crocodiles who have just entered their enclosure for the first time um so yeah that's the idea behind it to get you as close to the crocodiles as possible and i, I because i don't have to worry too much about the reality of the situation uh, here the platform is the way that I went about it and you can see as well now that I uh, have started sort of laying out the very very limitedly I've started to lay out the uh, building space so I, I've put in the ramps that will take you in and out of the building and I've put down a couple of markers for where the building starts and stops. The building itself is actually uh, it is inspired by a church. I, I'm not a religious person, but uh, the building is inspired by a church that I used to uh, live close to uh, in a town in, in, well, a city, sorry, in England called Lincoln. Um, I still actually, I live close to Lincoln, but I don't live in Lincoln anymore. Um, but this town has a church. It's a quite a modern building that has got this um, metal roof. It used to be lead, I think, but they changed it that sort of arcs up and then back down. I've taken that idea and applied it to this building. Uh, so it doesn't arc up and then back down, it just, it arcs, it goes up in an arc um, on one side. And then on the other side, as you can see here, actually, that's gonna be the shape of the of the roof. 
On the other side, it's got an edifice um, of, a, of a wall, which is both glass and wood. So the idea behind this was that um, you would have quite a, you would have the curve on one side and the curve would be the feature on this side of the building if you were, as you were approaching it. And then if you were looking out from, say, the other side of the river, you would see this vast edifice of a building um, from the other side. So it's two different shapes um, coexisting together to make this building. Uh, on top of that, I like the idea of, because this is one of our, going to be one of our main future enclosures, I like the idea of uh, the shape of the roof being similar to the surf, the, um, the waves. So that, that was the idea behind the, the roof and the building in general. Which is also why it's, we've used the copper uh, roofing, because it, it gives the best colour blue, personally, uh, I think. So yeah, that is the, that is the building. It's, um, it's got room to hold other things as well. I haven't added other things, um, but when it goes up on the, when it goes up on the workshop, it will obviously be fairly easy to add extra bits like exhibits and whatnot to the building itself. It has though got, as you can see here, that is an info center, uh, but it was also at the end of the build, there will also be shops in there as well so there'll be places to buy souvenirs and there'll be places to buy food so um, it's again another fairly all-purpose building i'm trying to i'm trying to squeeze as much use out of everything that i build as possible um, and that is the approach that i took when thinking about how to do that with this building um so yeah that is probably about everything that i've got to say on this particular build so uh, please feel free to stick around and enjoy the rest of the build i'll pop a little tour of of the entire space at the end so uh yep yeah, drop drop to the end if that's what you're interested in otherwise uh, enjoy yourselves and i'll see you again for another one next week bye